Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations and another addictions video. This one is number 23. So this is a yarn chat video. So if you're here for makes, you're in luck because I'm going to show a new whip today. <laughs> Only because I want to do a review of something. So grab a cup and join me. Let's see, what have I accumulated in the last couple days? Well, I got a, a chance to run down and uh, renew my driver's license. So it was only 30 days late. <laughs> but they were, you know, you had to have an appointment, blah, 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 blah. So that's not what we're here for. But on the way down and back, I drove by Ollie's. And I hadn't been in there in a while. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if they have any you know, yarns or anything in there. And they did have some orange and gray and some green and gray, uh, the line brand, um, you know, the big six bulky something or another's woolies. And uh, I wasn't interested in those colors, so I didn't get any. But I went around to the book section because, again, you fi I figured... Why not check the book section in here? If the dollar store has books, maybe Ollie's does. And they did have a couple. I have Jamaica, no, regular, regular Folgers with the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's what that is. So I could have bought a couple crochet, um, like flip magazines. Kind of like the ones with the wires on them. But uh, they were, it was all like beginner's stuff. And a couple of the items in there were very, I don't know, beginners. So I thought, well, I guess I won't get any this time of those. So I walked around a little farther and looked in there. They had um, a really big, huge crochet like encyclopedia type book and they had a knitting one too so maybe in the future I'll, I might look at those again because I didn't have time to really flip through them today so um they were eight dollars a piece but they were big volumes so I was like ah oh, maybe but I didn't get them um I didn't have time so I looked at this one this one is a leisure arts and it was knit an original price on this was um, quite quite a lot. Twenty three ninety five. This was original, and it's got like one hundred and twenty eight pages, so it's fairly decent size book. I paid a dollar ninety nine, so I didn't even get a chance to go through it yet, not at all. So I figured I'd just flip through here and talk to you, and see how you're doing and maybe we'll just glance at a couple of these look at that that's fancy looks like it's done in fingering weight too i don't know for sure like i said i haven't looked at it i just bought it but she's got really fancy buttons on it real fancy it's beautiful and the pearls they set it right off <laughs> I was watching the Knot House last night, and I've been trying to catch up because I'm a couple years behind on the Knot House. Um, it's a mother and daughter that own a shop, a yarn shop. So I've been enjoying catching up, and they always wear their pearls on the show. It's, it's great. So there is some other things in here besides sweaters. But there is a lot of sweaters, too. How pretty. That doesn't look like it would take that much yarn. It's really, really pretty. It takes cotton and linen. Yep. About, still says nine, 900 yards. Hmm. Oh, look at this one. I don't usually see such color in knit books, but 
I didn't look at the date this was put out either. Sometimes they don't have them in. Oh, yeah, copyright. Oh, 2010. It's not that old. Here's just a wrap or shawl. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of like these. Just make them a little bit longer. You don't have to do them that exactly like that. You can add rows in here and make it go right down to your hip or whatever you would like. You really could. You just have to adjust the amount of yardage that you're going to need before you start. This one is really lacy. Holy cow. Got my friendly uh, chickadee. <laughs> he comes over, lands on the bird feeder, looks at me. It is fine. Here's a dress. There's a lot of green in this book. Oh, here's another one. It's it's quite detailed, but look at the buttons again. So pretty. I love their i their button ideas. Oh, and there's another top to go with that one. This book is full. There's a, a lavender one. Again, this looks like a cotton one again. I'm not going to read it, but... You know, a lot of the books have um, the patterns in the front, and then the, there are the pictures in the front and the patterns in the back, and this one has them as you go. Another striped. Different one. That one's got red and blue buttons alternating. <laughs> this one has a ton of buttons. It's pretty cool. Just a short shrug again. I have to make a, a, a cocoon for someone for Christmas. They ordered uh, yesterday. So I'm like, oh, another order. Not from... Uh, just a friend, but I haven't talked to her in a long time. So I was quite... That is really lacy and pretty, that one is. And then again, more green-ish. I think that's because this was done in the spring. Oh, look at this one. Beautiful. I bet you if you Google this Leisure Arts magazine, you can find it online. It is Warm Weather Knits by Deborah Newton, and it's put out by Leisure Arts. Oh, a man's vest. Huh. I don't think I like that one. It's okay. Maybe done in different colors. This one I like. I haven't done anything with um, alternating stripes yet or, or anything, but I did change colors, but I didn't, uh, didn't do stripes yet. <laughs> so that was interesting. I enjoyed that. I hope you did. So I was looking through my, uh, my favorites on... Uh, Ravelry the other day before I got two new orders and I found this pattern that I had saved and it basically it's called Easy Top Down Raglan well I read through it and it gives you the options of what to do at this point and what to do at this point so you can change up and you're basically learning how to do a sweater in knitting from the top down and getting to choose what you do and, and wear but it's pretty much a vanilla outline and I'm like this is what I want to 
to keep in my in my stuff in my patterns because then you can go back and say oh I like this stitch and do this stitch for a collar or whatever and then do you know you could basically design your own decide your own once you've figured out your size so I printed it it's called easy top down raglan by Laura Chow C-H-A-U and I set it over by my stuff and I said that is what I'm going to use with my colors spun colors that I got last summer this is a premiere how pretty so I decided I would I would definitely do this vanilla type pattern and choose you know my collar and my cuffs and stuff like that so this is uh, 65 acrylic and 35 fine superwash merino so it's really really soft with a halo and um, so I had bought some in this color is rustic oh maybe I don't know June May sometime around in there and it's been sitting there saying make me into something so I, I shouldn't have started anything but what I decided was I was going to need some more cables if I was going to do an adult size sweater and um, I wasn't sure that I had enough for putting a big set of cables on there um, of my other ones um, and still have other you know other things going so I said well I'll buy another set so I went ahead and ordered this set of interchangeable deluxe knitters pride zings and these I found on Amazon there are 55 they were 55.99 I believe or 54.99 I don't know they might not even have been that much but I think they were um, I'm thinking that there was tax in there somewhere, but the shipping was free because of over $25. So I went ahead and got these, and they are, they're interchangeable. They have one, two, four, five. They have nine sets come in this nice zippered uh, pouch. It's, it's very sturdy, very, very nice pouch. And uh, you get a different color for every set. The sizes range from uh, US 4, which is a 3.5 millimeter, all the way to US 11, which is an 8 millimeter. So they're perfect for doing sweaters and stuff. And my other set is short. They are a lot shorter, and the cables are a lot shorter. In this one, you got the longer cables. You got a 24-inch, 32-inch, and you got two of those, and 40-inch. So that's the reason why I ordered these. So what I did, and that's another pouch where you can store your, your cables and your stoppers and your keys. So there was only two pouches in there. But it, very nice packaging. Everything seems to be pretty sturdy. So far, I put, I attached one of the cables, uh, one of the 32s, I think it was, because that's what they suggested. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, I think it is. It's the red one. So that's the 40. Okay, so I attached the 40. I, I tightened them all down. They have not come apart. The smooth uh, join, there is just a little tiny bit of a, mar of a feel there, but nothing is catching. They're, they're smooth on the, on the join. 
They haven't been coming apart. Like I said, this just happens to be the US 85, which was my choice um, in, the, in the pattern. So, um, and this yarn is a four medium. So it's very, very nice to use and things. But yeah, I, I'm not having any problem with these. There's my one by one rib for my neck. And I'm on to the increase onto the body of the increase rows. And look how pretty this, this is uh, coming out. See if I can find a section. It's all different colors. Just, just gorgeous. Look at that. So yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying these needles. Um, I don't have a stopper on these um, because I have been keeping that, keeping them like this right next to my chair. I haven't been taking them anywhere because I don't want to mess up. Uh, the other night in Monday night knit night. <laughs> Anybody who was there <laughs> knows that a couple of crazy girls that had never used the filters before where you, you, you put like funny faces on. Oh my gosh, I thought I would laugh myself silly. We just had so much fun. <laughs> so um, I knew I couldn't work on this. There was no way. <laughs> Had, had to put it away. I had made a mistake at one point and, and I had gone back and tinked it back and, and took it out. So that was definitely not a place to be doing something that you're so new at doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, apparently I have to draw a winner from the... Addictions 21 video and so what I've done is of course I have put the URL from the 21 into the U YouTube comment picker and I'm going to get the comments now we had while it's doing that we had a Karen skinny cake that I had picked up from Michael's and that was up for grabs and you had to say something about the skinny cakes to win. So let's see. There's 48 comments, 48 unique comments. And um, let's see. All the books have been claimed except for one. I'm gonna draw for another one of the books on the free form from Happy Scrappy. Um, tonight probably there we go okay that looks to appear to be coffee crochet and cuddles I love Karen cakes but have not had the chance to get a skinny one yet and that is going to be our winner and I do believe that is crystal so congratulations to you, Crystal. Thanks for watching my videos. You have a week to let me know that you are the winner. I always do that. You have to have a United States address. And all you have to do is watch my videos, send me an email, and um, have a United States address. I will be putting up a new addictions video in a few days or so, but uh, I still have, I believe there is a giveaway listed or in the Addictions 22 video. And I am not using giveaway in the, um, in the titles because I don't want it to be found on the, you know, the search engines. And um, if you don't use giveaway either, that would be... A good thing for me if you would please now I'm gonna go on to what else I got in the mail today this is there's my little birdie again <laughs> this is a an order from knit picks and I have never ordered from knit picks before on my own all I've ever done is I've got a little tiny smile mail from uh, Christy from T Dottles once 
that had some Knit Picks yarn in it. And then Lori, she sent me some Knit Picks yarn once. And my mom bought me a set of crochet hooks that are wooden that I love, or they're um, birch. And I love them, and I've had them for a couple years. I use them every now and again. They're very pretty. They're the orange, orange and purple ones. So that's all I've ever gotten from Knit Picks. I've never ordered myself. Well, I went through the book last week with y'all, and I noticed that there was some Try It needle sets on there. So I went ahead and I ordered one. And um, they're, supposed, they're supposed to be in here. So let's see what else did I get. I got some Dishy. This is Dishy Multi. I've never touched this. This feels like cotton, kitchen cotton, like uh, the regular kitchen cotton that we use all, all the time. That's what it feels like to me. I don't know whether it, it's going to feel the same working up or not, but I figured I'd try it. This is 100% cotton, and it is a 4 medium, or a 4 weight says it can be machine washed and dryable. This is called starfish. <laughs> How pretty. 190 yards in these. And I believe these, well, you know what? There is no prices on here. No. No prices. So I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> okay, so then I thought I'd sample these. Wool of the Andes, worsted weight, 110 yards. The wool of the Andes consists of 100% highland wool, and you can feel that this is highland wool. You can feel the wool. You can't see the halo, but you definitely can feel the wool. It does not itch, though. It does not itch. I think this would be a beautiful hat. And uh, another reason why I would like to try these every now and again is because I have people that ask me for, you know, wool um, hats and stuff. I've had a lady that came up to me on, at my craft table and she said, do you have any just wool hats? And I said, well, yeah, I don't have it on the table. It's on the box. I pulled it out. She looked at it. Okay, I'll buy it. And she bought it. She did. <laughs> So that's kind of why I like to once in a while make something like this. So this, uh, this one does say hand wash. It's a four. And it says dry flat. And these are 110 yards each. And I don't see a color. It just says a lot number. Oh yes, this must, oh, um, this could be the color, Solstice Heather. Now, to me, that is not Heather, it's just dark blue. So, oh goodness sakes, you guys, quit fighting. Let's see, what else is in here? This is a small box, but it's packed with a punch. <laughs> we have some of this. Okay, so what I did was I said, let's try the City Tweed. Huh? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This one is a DK weight, 123 yards, a 3 light. It's 55% merino wool. 25% super fine alpaca and 20% Donegal tweed. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. So this is a luxury to me, I would consider. And you get, how much do you get? Oh yeah, I said 123 yards. So they're 50 gram balls. And this one is Primrose. I I got it in Brown.
brocade, which is a darker, um, a darker purple-ish, purple-ish. They go together well. I got another one in Romance, which is a rust, almost a rust. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. And then I got one in Plum Wine, which is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. These are all so pretty. And this one is Blue Blood. So they all are real close. And I wanted to see how close, close enough to make something with them. And I'm not sure about that orange one. I don't think that the orange, well, it's not really orange. It's like a rust. And I don't think the rust one will go well. But um, if we take and do a, a gradient with these, you never know. You figure out something, huh? Okay, so let's look here. Of course, I can't get in here. This is the Try It Needle Set. Now, I do remember that this was $14.99, and it's to try um, these two set, these two knee, uh, knitting needles. They This one contains the Majestic Wood set um, in, the six, in the size 6, 4 medium, 4 mi millimeter. And then, I, it's like I can't talk today, what? And then the other one is a nickel plated in the size 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter. And one has, okay, a 40 inch, 40 inch cable comes with it. Four end caps and one metal tightening key. So this was, both of these for $14.99, that's about $7 each. So, I thought, there was a square one in here. Maybe I picked the wrong one. I can't, I can't get into it. So uh, it's got a black cord and it's a nitpicks. So I'm going to try them out. And I think there's a possibility that I'm going to try them out on these. Let's see. This is telling me um, knitting needles number five through seven, which this is a six and a seven. And this one is telling me knitting needles six through nine. Again, it's a six and a seven. So that's what I was thinking of using this one to try these out. This, uh, cotton yarn uh, says knitting needles seven through eight. So I could use the seven. So that's my uh, haul from Knit Picks today. I'm so glad you could join me. I've got my work cut out for me tonight. I've got to go and draw some end of the month stuff. I've got hats, hats, and more hats. I've got to pick the winner and put up a new one for October. In the Facebook group, I've got a new show and tell. I've got to pick the winner for the quarter and put up a new quarter and pick, pick out what prizes I'm going to. I've got the orange yarn picked out for the hats, hats, and the more hats, but I haven't picked out the, the new kit yet. I think I'm going to possibly put two up and let the winner choose for the last quarter of the year for show and tell oh and then I have to pick the winner for knit for a bit for September and I have to redraw oh my goodness I think I'll do maybe two things tonight and two things tomorrow night so thanks all for joining me I'm going to have another addictions video up in a couple of days because I have a couple orders coming that I want to do I want to order I mean I want to talk about my order, and I want to draw a winner from 22 and put up a new giveaway. Yeah. So I'm glad you all could join me, and I'm going to talk to you all later. Have a creative evening.
Bye now.